Hi everybody, this is Moses from Out There Gardens and this is episode 181 of Gardening Without Edits. My daughter wants to, come here Talene, look, look. She wants to show you her little gnome. Say cheese, cheese, like you were saying before I started. I think she's camera shy. She's like, wait a minute, this is not a photo. Look, yeah, look at that, look what I'm filming. Look at Lulu. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you um, I bought this lemon, I think I remember, this is a Satsuma Mandarin and a lemon, Mayer lemon, improved Mayer lemon, long time ago, 10 years plus, or 10 years ago probably, around there. I got a deal on this one because uh, they were afraid the graft died, and they're like, well, uh, if you want to take it, you can always graft to it. Uh, the graft did survive, so you can see, let me show you up close, let me get close to it, you can see how... The, let me see my finger. Everything's down low. Like it should be up here, then graft grown out. The graft is pretty much right down there. So you can see on the Satsuma, you can see the graft is, you know, a couple, a few inches above the ground. And then you could tell definitely that Satsuma. Okay, with this one, the mayor, I have, let me zoom out. I don't, I didn't know until when early spring comes where the, um, the, the rootstock of the citrus is and where the mayor is. So now I know. So if you see here, you're going to see a branch growing straight up. Then I tied it here because I had, I had a guess that it was this that was the rootstock. And now I'm pretty sure due to long thorns and barely any flowers. Like that's the only flowers I could find. But look when you go to the mayor. Look how many flowers there are when you pull away the rootstock up from the tree. You see how many flowers they're about to open? Now look at over here. You see them all? But when you go to the, and even more over here, you can see. See how many flowers there are? Then when you go to the rootstock, you don't see any flowers. You see big thorns, but you don't see any flowers. Only a little bit right over here. And I remember that I harvested lemons hanging from this side and I couldn't harvest from this. So this, and I was right with this right here when I tied it, this is the rootstock. So I'm going to cut this at the base right there. So don't let your citrus, don't let the rootstock grow because it'll just pull from the tree you want, the variety you want, but it'll pull nutrients and won't give you anything. And also... Uh, you'll see probably on YouTube a lot, you'll see, or TikTok, you'll see huge lemons, like big, big as your head. And they're like, look at my tree, how big are the lemon? That, let me finish. Look at my tr uh, uh, fruit, you know, look at the tree, what it can produce. That Those huge lemons are from the wild rootstock. They they're, they're barely even have any juice inside. Now, they're all rind. If you like rind, that's good. But if you want sweet juice or sour juice, like a mayor's sweet and sour or Lisbon sour or Eureka sour, you need to cut off those huge lemons you see on, the, on, on some videos. And they don't know that that's actually not the lemon that you want. But if, if it's okay for them, then so be it. As long as they're growing their own stuff, that's all that matters to me as a content creator for gardening. So this will be cut at the base. Now I know that this is the problem. Or not a problem, it's just unwanted. Especially with those thorns. I don't want Talia to, to jab herself with these things. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And there's no and there's barely any thorns on this side. So let me show you some thorns before I shut off the video. Um Well, these big thorns are from the other side. I'm not really seeing any thorns really, but there's some. They're very small. Happy gardening, everybody. Bye.